Hello, and welcome to the SBTI's training on supplier engagement. This session covers module number one, an introduction to the SBTI supplier engagement guidance. The full guidance, which is linked in the description below, was released in June of 2023 to help companies address scope three emissions by engaging their supply chains to set science-based targets. This video and the others contained in the playlist will summarize the guidance materials. The supplier engagement guidance is part of SBTI supplier engagement toolkit, which contains a full set of resources. Outside of this guidance, the toolkit also includes an executive summary, a presentation for you to use when introducing your suppliers to science-based targets, and a set of accompanying speaker notes when sharing the supplier presentation. The video module and the others in this series are relevant to version 1.0 of SBTI's guidance entitled Engaging Supply Chains on the Decarbonization Journey. Please be aware that the contents of this module may change as guidance is occasionally updated. For the most up-to-date information, please visit the SBTI website. The guidance will be presented over six learning modules. We are currently in the first module. Subsequent modules will cover five key steps in the supplier engagement guidance. Each module is covered by a separate video so that you can easily navigate the training to meet your needs. This guidance has three primary goals and covers the following topic areas. Underlining the importance of wide-scale decarbonization across supply chains to avoid the impacts of climate change and enable the transformation to a net zero economy. Helping organizations determine if a supplier engagement target is right for them and laying out an actionable playbook for organizations to effectively engage their suppliers in setting science-based targets. This guidance is intended for two primary audiences. First, companies that are considering or already implementing SBTI scope three targets. And second, companies interested in exploring different supplier engagement tactics to address scope three emissions reduction. Finally, there are a couple of adjacent topics which are not covered in detail in this training. This training does not teach you how to set SBTI targets. For that, refer to additional resources on SBTI's website. This training also does not teach you how to calculate your absolute emissions. For that, refer to the greenhouse gas protocol. All supplemental materials are included as links in the description below. As a reminder, Emissions are categorized under three scopes, scope one, scope two, and scope three. To provide some definitions and examples, scope one are direct emissions from your company owned or controlled resources. For example, this would include emissions from your factory operations or company owned vehicles. Scope two covers emissions from the production of electricity purchased by a company. For example, this would include emissions from lighting and cooling your factory or office building. Scope three, which is the focus of this guidance, covers all indirect emissions from a company's upstream and downstream value chain activities. For example, upstream value chain activities would include emissions from production of purchased supplies, transportation of those supplies, or employee commuting. Examples of end use would include emissions from customers driving a vehicle your company produced, or the emissions from transportation of a completed product. Supplier engagement focuses on addressing your scope three upstream value chain activities. Cross industry momentum to mitigate climate change and achieve net zero emissions globally continues to grow. However, we must accelerate progress if we are to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. For many companies, supply chain related emissions are their largest source of emissions on average 11.4 times larger than direct emissions from operations. These emissions are also the most challenging to reduce. Addressing supply chain emissions feels like a daunting task for many companies, often due to limited visibility and perceptions of limited influence on emission reduction measures. Using this guidance to engage suppliers directly can help alleviate some of those challenges. For most companies, supplier engagement targets offer an effective and critical way to influence their supply chain decarbonization. Specifically, these targets 
focus on engaging a defined group of suppliers to set their own science-based targets for emissions reduction. Thank you for listening to this introductory module. We hope this information will help as you engage your supply chain on the decarbonization journey.